Hi guys, Misty here, and I am coming at you today with a unboxing. I aunt had received an email from Spell Queen company called Spell Queen to do a review of their to do a review of their product. Here's the their label. I took my address stuff off of there. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. See if I can find really quick some information. I wrote it down on a card, so just give me a minute to look for that card. trying to find it because it's been a little while. I actually didn't get confirmation that they had shipped it and I was actually going to email them and ask them if they were still sending it or if they had sent it because I had not received it and they were sending it to my personal address instead of my P.O. box. Because for some reason they said that they could not ship to my P.O. box. I don't know why. I think uh, because of... I think they said because it um, required a signature. But the FedEx people like knocked on my door and just took off. They didn't even wait for me to answer the door. Okay, so in this box I should have four diamond paintings. So if they sent me all of the, the diamond paintings that I, that they, because they told me to pick out four diamond paintings. So that is what I did. what is in the box. Ooh. I want to take the time to thank Spell Queen for contacting me and um, allowing me to give you their products. Let's see. Let me make sure you can see. Oh, that is not cool at all. Come on, you guys. All right. It is, I do believe they are poured glue. We'll find out for sure. But I definitely do not like when they come folded up like that. That is just so severe on the canvases like I already would say for criticism purposes that you would need to definitely send these in a bigger box if need be because this is just 
like you don't want you don't want your canvases folded even if they are poured glue sorry i bumped the camera you guys i'm working on a limited space here since i've been working on other stuff lately okay so first of all let's open their kit now they told me they're gonna send me a deluxe um I, I talked to them on August 25th. I, that's when I told them all of the ones that I wanted to get. And so it's now October 2nd. So it did take quite a while. Um, they did say they were gonna send me a deluxe toolkit. So if you order one of their premium toolkits, this is what you will get. Oh, cute pink tweezers. That's awesome. I don't have any pink tweezers. They are the stab me, kill me tweezers that Kay Diamonds likes to call it. And you get a white boat and a blue one. You can put your pen on the side there. Let's see. I got a red grippy. And then I've got the um, slanted tweezers that are the cheaper tweezers. There's two more grippies in here. Let me see, let me just make sure everything I'm doing is on camera. Okay, perfect, okay. Sorry, my husband's not home today to help me to achieve my goals with this. So it comes with 21 count um, flip container. So if you're new, this would be a good start. Although do not drop it on the floor. Um, be very careful about turning things upside down because it would definitely, it, you know, could definitely spill into each other. They give you one, two, three, four, five, ten tiny square pieces of wax. So it's a pretty decent amount of wax. They give you some labels for your containers. They give you some baggies to put your diamonds in. They give you clips to clip it onto something. I don't know what, but to clip it to something. Um, here's another grippy. They give you a little spoon that you can like scoop it out with. And they give you... Ooh, four placer. Okay, so they give you four pens. They give you, I think this is like a ten placer. I think this one's a six placer, a three placer, and a four placer. And then they give you the pink pens. These are the shorter pink pens as opposed to the normal size ones. So you could just put your pen here. And they give you a straightener, which you use this to straighten, straighten rows out with. And then the last thing they give you is a roller, which I really like this roller because I have a wooden roller and my wooden roller gets a little chewed up by the, it gets a little chewed up. Well, it just totally ripped, so <laughs> just take it off. But this part gets really chewed up by the, by the, um, the diamonds sometimes. I guess, I don't know if I push too hard or what. And I don't always put something in between it. So that's awesome. I really like that. And I really like the mesh bag too, because it's, you know, it's see-through and it's, you know, definitely reusable. So if you decide, oh, I want to go, I want to go on vacation, but I, I, I need to take my diamond painting stuff. Then you could just Pack up all your stuff in this little mesh bag and be
be on your way. So that's their deluxe toolkit. And, um, let's see. Where is the other thing? Let's see if I can find out. Well, I'm finding out the information I'm looking for. Oh my lord. So, I'll be honest, I did not get small kits because I wanted to make sure that I was able to show um, the good quality. So, um, and have good detail. So, let's Go ahead and open this one first. Now, I will be completely honest. There are some images that are stolen. So, um, or like, I'll be honest. There are some images on there that are um, not paid royalties to the artist. So you'll want to, you know, keep in mind of that when you're looking through paintings and what you decide to choose. Ah, I keep knocking this camera around. <laughs> Let's see. Shipping three pounds. Mercedes, I'm getting kit. Buy one, get one extra fifty percent off. Looks like they're having some kind of sale right now. I'm gonna go to their website to look. Um. So it's free pen and buy one, get one extra. Buy one, get one extra 50% off with free shipping, I think it was trying to say. Let me just see what, what it says for... I do like that they do offer several sizes and not just, um, and not just one size, you know, fits all canvases I do like that they give you the option to do squares and rounds so that's nice as well uh, let's see and When I, when I added a painting to the cart, it says you're eligible for a free pen. Um, and then you can choose between pens. They have like a mermaid pen and one with a diamond on the top. Or some fluff ball things. And that's what they have up there right now. So. I'm just trying to see. I'm not sure. I know that when I when I ordered these, they offered an upgrade to the toolkit. So, but I'm not seeing it for some reason. So. Okay. So this is um, the Aurora Borealis Sky. 
me. I want it to look a little different to me, dark to me. I don't know. Let's see. Okay. Pull those out. <sighs> so these will have to live under my bed for a mattress for a little while. Because, ooh. Okay, so it overlaps. I was <laughs> like, what? The drill field looks pretty good. Let's see. I'm gonna scoot this away from me a little bit without knocking you guys off the table. Okay, so the drill field looks really clear. And this says it's a 50 by 60. Let's see if it is true to size. One and a half. Let's see what the size it sides is. And this side says forty two ish, a little less than forty two. So it is not true to size. Let's see if the canvas is 50 by 60 itself. Because it looks a little, it looks a little wide and like not as tall. Like I would definitely, like I, I've said this before on other companies um, that I would definitely, yeah, because the, the canvas size is almost 60, so, um, so I would say the one thing that really bothers me about, about diamond size paintings is the fact that it says that it's a certain size and it's not. So this says it's a 50 by 60. When I look at items and I decide that I'm gonna frame something, I really want it to be the size that I am picking because a 50 by 60 would fit into a frame, whereas this one is gonna be off a little bit, so it's not gonna fit in a frame that's 50 by 60. So for framing purposes, I need it to be pretty accurate for what it is so all right this one came with 26 colors and I've seen this image pretty much everywhere so I decided to get this one um, because I wanted to get it in a big enough size that the colors would render well so um i do like the fact that they put them in baggies i do also like that they um put the dmc numbers on them that's always nice because i do store my drills after the drill quality looks really good it's still like they have the little indentations on the back but i don't see any tabs on the diamonds so i'm perfectly cool with that it's when they have tabs on them that I that I don't like them. Let's see. So this painting has a ton of these blue ones. <laughs> Let's see. Nine, eight, 
That's 12, 8, 6, 7, 20, 21, 5, 14, 15, 16, 17. Seventeen, so dark blue and um, like royal blue are like the main focus colors of this. Um, let's see, we got nine, nine, ten, eleven, twenty-three. So wait, what? Hold up. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. There's more. False alarm. Okay, so 26. Oh my gosh, I love these blues. They're so gorgeous. I love them, I love them, I love them. And there's a lot of those blues too. That's awesome. This So this painting is going to be mostly blues, which I definitely love blues, so that works out. 13 and 19. We do have all of the colors here. They are already in baggies. So that means that if I decide that I do not want to kit them up, I can literally work out of the bag. I can just open the bag, dump some in the tray, and then put it back. And that's kind of how I've been working lately. Um, because I have been doing multiple different things at the same time. So... I need to be able to pick up and move my stuff around in a pretty uh, fast time piece. So, so let me just go ahead and stick this back in here. The drill field looks really good. The symbols are really clear. They don't have any of the harsh, dark grid lines, which I like. Um, but, I mean, it's squares anyway, so... Usually you don't get the grid line issues on squares because you can cover the whole square up. But I still like that. And I still like that it has the white grid line so that they, you can still tell where to put the stuff. Um, let's see. Put that back on there. Uh, so the drill field does look clear. I don't really see any, any symbols that are blurry they are they do have a little bit of a like um like the dark the, i think it's x yeah so these are x so these are a little hard to read but i know that they are x's so it'll be fine i, I don't see foresee any problems with that um it is square like i said and let me think the um Adhesive is obviously double, um, as poured glue, it's definitely sticky. So I do like that. Um, let me fix it. Why can't I fix this today? It's just not working out. Okay. Right. That's best I can fix it right now. They do have it in two sheets, so if you work from top to bottom. Sorry about the interruption guys. My sister and my little three-year-old called. <laughs> my sister has him for part of the day. So I don't remember what I was saying. I apologize. I, I'm pretty sure I was talking to the manufacturer and saying that I don't I don't like the folds in it and that I would ship them separately because the gems even place a oh there's another toolkit in here interesting 
The gems also leave marks. I mean, you can see how deep these creases are. So, I love butterflies. This, excuse me. The hiccups now. This is totally awesome. Like, I love it. I love the butterfly. It's so pretty. Um, so I'm going to guess at this and say that this one's probably not true to size either. Since the, uh, the last one was not. This one is supposed to be a 45 by a 45 by 60. So it's about 51 and a half by 37. So it's definitely not. It's definitely not 45 by 60, but it does look like it's large enough, so um, the details should really be there. I think it looks really cute. They do put the grids on both, um, the keys on both sides, and they're quite big, so like you shouldn't have any problems knowing what colors correspond they also do normal normal um, ones normal fonts so numbers and numbers and letters this one has 26 colors also so I'm just gonna make sure they're all here they're all individually bagged with this one as well they do have the DMC code number on them. This one is made up of quite a few colors, a lot of purples. Uh, quite a bit of red for the middle. 19, 18. Some blues and some teals. Alright, so I got 10, 2, just some lilacs, purples, 1, 2, 3, beautiful image of a heart and rocks. I also have a smaller image of this, not of this one, but of rocks and the blue butterfly from um, another company to go with, with my theme of loving butterflies. I am a big lover of butterflies. So, put these away. All right, let's move on to the next one before my husband decides to call me because he'll probably get his lunch break soon. Uh, 
do this one. Memory is getting full on my phone. So, I'm hoping I'm not losing any of the video that is just stopping and letting me know when it's done. Because it's only doing about five minutes at a time. So, unfortunately, Okay, so this one they did the opposite way that they did the other one, so I'm just going to fix it because I will work from top to bottom. That's the way I work on my paintings. Anyway, I'm hoping that the colors on the canvas are just muted and that they will match more to what the picture looks like once on once the diamonds are on the canvas because otherwise the coloring is a little off from from what I'm used to seeing for the picture so One, two, two, 23. Okay, so we have all of the colors here. The drill field looks really good. I don't see any issues with the canvas. Everything looks, everything looks good, except for the fact that it's folded over there on that side, which is the way they, they package them. Uh, so it's just going to take a little bit of finessing and a little bit of pushing down. You could use heavy books, like really heavy books. Um, I put them under my mattress because it's the largest place I have to be able to place things. So... I am totally amazed by the products. Um, definitely sticky. Everything looks clear. It's not blurry. I think they're going to turn out amazing. We know that their size is smaller than what the canvas says. Okay. I don't know why sometimes my phone wants to video in five minute increments and other times it'll go for hours. So I think it's just the based on the space on my phone or something, but I don't really, oh, oh my God, you guys. Oh my God. No, come on spell queen. Really? This is disastrous like why would you ship the canvas like this i don't understand i don't i don't have any words i don't understand this i mean if the prices that people are going to pay for these canvases they don't want these creases Oh my gosh, like, I, I am just so sad. Like, this canvas would be perfect if it didn't have those folds in it. Like, 
I I'm so sad for it. I really hope that they figure it out in the future how to because I, I totally was gonna order a custom from them because their custom prices are really reasonable. But I'll tell you what, if I if I ordered a 50 by 50, looks like the price is like $39.99 or $36 something. Um I I I would be seriously upset if it if it arrived to me. I I would be really upset if this was a custom canvas and I paid for it. I would be really upset to have it received like this. This is just so crazy to me. So this canvas is supposed to be is supposed to be a 60 by 80. actually not that bad but really like it's gonna have these permanent indentations I don't even know if I could flatten it out with I don't even know if I could flatten it out but this is a really pretty like solar system like kind of like clouds in the sky nebula kind of a thing it's super pretty and I just hope that the canvas lays flat after because I really like it so I told my husband we could hang it on the ceiling because <laughs> uh, there's another one I wanted to get for a ceiling it's like rainbow clouds but, um, so, this one has 22 colors on it. So this 60 by 80 is in fact, let's see, 60 by 80 is actually... Seventy would help if I did the centimeters. Come on, flip over. You can do it. So it's like 70 by 50. Alright, so 11. Where's the 12? Oh, there's more bags of 9. There's 3 bags of 9s. Whew, that's a lot of 9. Another bag of 11. Bag of 12. There are 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Another bag of 13. So 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. There are 22. So I do have all of the colors. Um, that's refreshing. Especially when I find that, especially when I find that some companies don't ship everything that's supposed to be shipped to them. So, I do definitely want to thank Spell Queen for picking my channel to feature their that I'm painting on. Um, so, I will be sending an email 
with some of my critiques and obviously one of my critiques is definitely packaging because you know when us diamond painters order diamond paintings we want the size to be correct we want the canvas to be definitely ready to roll out of the box and and be able to start diamond painting on and I feel like I'm not able to do that because of how mangled up this section is and it's going to take some finessing and I honestly don't like ironing the canvas I think it ruins it so I won't be able to I won't be able to do that for the canvas like I know some some diamond painters will iron it, but I just don't think that it works for the the two the two times I've tried it, it's I think it's done more damage than than good. It's definitely sticky. The drill feel looks really clear. The diamond painting itself looks even though it's smaller than what it says, it looks like it will turn out to be great quality but we all know that once we start diamond painting is when we start finding um, many of the flaws so I will be working on one of these diamond paintings in the near future and I will definitely be doing reviews on them on my channel once I have completed them um, I am wondering if anybody wants to pick the next diamond painting that I work on after I finish my next one of my next projects. So I have to finish at least one of my products because I have I have three open right now and I want to finish finish at least. Like this, see the paper is so messed up that it's like hard to even get the plastic to cooperate and go back down. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't like this permanent, this is a permanent crease. I don't think I can get it out. Um, I tried to get it, I tried to iron the really large one that I got because they, they wrapped the diamonds with the, the kit. And that's one of the things I don't like about it, about the, the, the drills always, like the drills add to the damage. So if I can ask them to separate them and, and they cooperate, I totally will. Like I will ask a company if they can do that. Some of them will, some of them won't, um, but I mean, I literally want to be able to order a canvas and pull it out of the box and start working on it. I definitely don't want to have to wait or do any kind of manipulation to it or um, fixing creases or fixing glue or anything like that like I, I want to just be able to work on what I started or what I received because I'm excited that I received them I usually order paintings that I am extremely happy to do so um, anyway that's what I got for you guys today I will have all of the information for spellqueen.com listed in the box below in I thank you for watching, and if you guys have any questions, you can message me. Also, um, I would like to thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more diamond painting content, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys!